everybody, welcome to the OK TV kitchen. Are you ready? I was born ready. Huh? Are you awake? Yes. Yeah, we're awake and alert because we're about to find out from the Word of God how to hear God's voice. Did you hear that? Yeah. How to hear God's voice. Sometimes his voice comes in a soft, small whisper and we have to learn how to tune in. Everybody, dial in. <coughs> dial in to God. There you go. Hope, come on. Oh, you did it. Okay, hold up your Bible. Let's say this. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. How can I do it with an American accent? Okay. Mm. I believe what it says. I believe what it says. I receive what it says. I receive what it says. And I do it. And I do it. All right. Let's open up our scripture verse today. John chapter 10, verse 2. Hey, oh, look at you. Got your finger in there. Very good. Can we have a big smile from you, Brienne? Look at that. Where did your teeth go? <laughs> All right, okay. So here we go. Let's read it. I'm reading it from my Bible too. Okay, it says, Jesus was talking about sheep and their shepherd. So it says, after he had, uh, after he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice. Everybody say, know God's voice. Know God's voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. Who do you think the stranger is that tries to fool you, trick you and take your attention away from God? Do you know who that is? Satan. All right, Satan the devil, you know, he has got a voice too. But you can tell the difference between God's voice and the enemy's voice. God's voice calms you. Everybody look very calm. Take a breath in, calm, cool and collected. His voice settles you. His voice, God's voice encourages you and it leads you into good things. His voice uh, reassures you that all is well even when things are tough. Actually, Chloe, can you, while I'm chatting, could you start drawing a sheep? And could we get the clipboards from the drawer that has everything in it? Because you know what? You can draw or write. Go ahead, somebody do that for me. Very good. You can draw or write while I'm preaching and teaching. You could draw a sheep because the Bible says that we are the sheep of God's pasture. Everybody make a sheep noise. <laughs> it's true. What do sheep do? They follow the shepherd, don't they? They follow his voice. They listen to his voice. Oh, can you colour him in? Look at that, Chloe. That's a great sheep. All right, there's a story in the Bible, and you don't have to turn there. It's in 1 Samuel, and it's a story of a boy who'd never heard the voice of God before. His name was Samuel. And he was sleeping one night. Everybody pretend you're asleep. Oh, a few snorers in here. All right, wake up, listen. Okay, are you listening? Samuel was asleep at night and this voice said, Samuel, Samuel. And he woke up and he actually thought it was Eli the priest. This is in the Old Testament. So he ran into his bedroom and he said, Eli, you called me? And Eli said, no, actually I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel goes back to bed, sleeping, and he wakes up because that voice again, Samuel, Samuel, he gets out of bed, goes to Eli, and he says, Eli, did you call me? Eli's like, nope, didn't call you, go back to bed. Three times he heard the voice, and then Eli went, oh, it's God. Samuel, go back to bed this time. When you hear your name being called, say, speak, Lord. I'm listening. Everybody say that. Speak, Lord. I'm listening. So when Samuel woke up with the voice of God, God actually spoke to him, gave him instructions, talked to him, and it changed the history of Israel. So children, you can hear from God too, and we're going to show you one of the ways. Who's helping me with, oh, Hope, could you grab my props, please? All right, so we have a bowl with water in it and out of the drawer that has everything in it, we have a sponge. I'm going to talk to you about soaking in God's presence. Imagine that this is your spirit man, 
Your spirit is like a sponge and the water is the living water of God's word, the living water of his voice. So your spirit, when you push it in the water, let's do that, Chloe, you can push it down. Have a look what happens. What happens to the sponge? Just talk to me. Tell me. It starts so it's, soaking. Uh-huh. It starts to soak up the water. All right, very good. Thank you, Chloe. You can wipe your hands with this. All right, so you push it right down. And this is like you. When you worship God, you are soaking in Him. When you read your Bible, you are soaking in His presence. And when you have a quiet time with God, your spirit starts to take in the goodness of God. And then it can spill out to other people. Your spirit is like a sponge. We don't want to be dry. When we spend time with God, we become more like Him and He can talk to us. So pens down. Pens down, everybody. I'm going to show you how to soak. Just a little moment. All right, close your eyes. That's good. You close your eyes there at home too. There's some beautiful music playing. So I'll put on worship music when I soak with God. I close my eyes. I just think about how good He is. And I imagine that God's in the room with me because he is. And then on the inside, I ask him questions. God, what do you want to say to me? Ask him on the inside of you. What do you want to tell me today? I can guarantee that God's voice will be calming you and he will say something because you asked him. All right, eyes open. That was really quick. Who can tell me what God told you or showed you during that one little moment? What did he say to you? Jeremy? He was showing me preaching the word to other people and showing showing them how to live the way God told them. them Wow. Wow. It's powerful. Who else? What did God say to you? Ike? Um, God said to me that we can, that I can soak with Him um, anywhere when I need to. It's true because life is so busy. Children, do you ever stop? We'll talk about this some more, all right, because I can feel God's presence. And can you sense Him with you at home too? He's always there. We just have to stop the activity. Everybody shake it, shake it off. Like, like life is like this. I've got to do this. I've got to go there. I've got to go to school. I've got to do, 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 do. And stop. <sighs> Let's do that more and more in our life. That was a good big talk, wasn't it? All right, we'll come back to you in a little while and we'll talk some more. Bye for now.